Hello LGs, this is the Lady of Lace and today I wanted to come in and talk with you guys about the dress code for corporate America. Alright you guys, um, the key word here is office attire. Now we know you have a slamming body and you want to show off your best assets, your best assets. <laughs> but the office is not the place. This came about when my far my son got his real job in corporate America. We had to do some shopping quickly. His clothes range from church clothes to hip hop clothes. Nothing in between. <laughs> and so we had to go shopping real fast because um, church clothes, some of the suits that he had for church would have been appropriate and is appropriate but that hip-hop stuff no no <laughs> so uh, yeah so we had to go out and do some shopping so uh, that got me to thinking about other young ladies and men out there um, preferably the ladies I'm going to just target the ladies today other ladies that I've seen over the years being in corporate America for as long as I have I've seen some pretty outrageous outfits that um, wanted to just take them aside and say uh, sweetie that's not what you want to wear to work um, we'll, we can meet after work you know at the club somewhere in that outfit but that is not appropriate attire for this environment and um, and they just don't know. Some of them, some of them just don't know. Some of them just don't care. But uh, for those of you who do care, I just wanted to offer you guys a little bit of advice on um, appropriate attire, if you will, for corporate, Amer um, corporate America, because there are two codes in corporate America. There's the official dress code, and then there's an unofficial dress code alright so you want to dress professionally as well as conservatively but you also want to show some of your individuality okay so and that can be very difficult to try to balance and I understand that so uh, just so you know I dress on a more provocative side I like dressing a little sexy I like wearing my skirts uh, above the knee maybe an inch or two above my knees and uh, not the mini skirts. The mini skirts are especially those that's going to keep you pulling at your dress all day long. You can't concentrate at work. The person around you can't concentrate because they're too busy trying to look up your dress. And uh, yeah, so you don't want to be uncomfortable, especially in your first three months of working. Or you want to dress conservatively, professionally, so that you're comfortable in your clothes and you can focus on what you're there for. All right. So, and you don't want to be a distraction to all the others who are there to focus on what they're there for. Um, and just share some outfits as well as some advice on how to dress for your very first real job. Let's get started.
thing. And you can also have on a nice uh, necklace, uh, just some regular earrings, nothing dangling, you know, all the way down to your bosom or the, the, the chain earrings that looks like a necklace and it goes in your ears. Not for corporate America, you guys. Not not yet. Not just yet. You want to wait until you're established to do that. Or if you have your own business, you can do that. But when you're working in corporate, conservative is the way to go. So this is what I consider a very nice suit and very conservative. And I paired it with some off-white pumps. The heels, of course, no more than two and a half inches to three. Stilettos, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend wearing to work. So, yeah, so this is an outfit that would be appropriate. And nice to wear to corporate America. And, um, yeah, so you... Um, I just wanted to come in and show you guys an outfit that I thought or I think is a nice outfit that's jazzy and professional looking yet has um, a little flair with the white and the red sleeves. And of course you can throw on a gold belt or you know whatever color it is that you want to bring out maybe with your earrings. Because my earrings are gold, I thought a gold belt would look nice, and a gold necklace or chain or something around the neck. Nothing that's going to be dangling between the breasts to draw attention into the cleavage area. Nothing like that, ladies. We want the men to look here, not here. All right, so, all right, so that's what I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think of this um, topic, and um, we'll go from there. All right, you guys be blessed and a blessing, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.